standpoint of creation, there's one human race. We, were, we all have one father from the standpoint of creation. From the standpoint of the new creation, you're either in Christ or outside of Christ. And if you're in Christ, you're my brother or my sister. Well, welcome again to the Straight Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Philpott, and we're glad you've joined us for this episode. Now, we'd love to have you engage with us on this topic, and you can do that by going to one of our social media channels. You can find all of those listed at our website, straighttruth.net. Now, remember that Straight Truth is a listener-supported podcast, so if you'd like to continue to help us produce this podcast, you'll find those details also at our website. Now, lastly, help us spread the word about the podcast, and you can do that by leaving us a review in the iTunes podcast section. Pastor, recently in our culture, race issues have been in the forefront of all of our discussions, and this mm. isn't a new issue. It's been, it's been the history of the church uh, in the last hundred years in America, every country, everywhere. We, we have to discuss issues of race, and the Bible has quite a bit to say about this, doesn't it? Well, we have a question here that was submitted to us about interracial marriage. And uh, the question is, does an interracial marriage constitute an unequally yoked marriage? You know, what does the Bible have to say about interracial marriage? Well, the easy answer to that question is, is no. The Bible doesn't teach that's an unequally yoked marriage. An unequally yoked marriage would be a believer with an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with, with, uh, with race. The Bible doesn't address interracial marriage from the standpoint of, of what we think of in terms of racial identity the color of one's skin or what nation they're from. It's all about spiritual relationships. If I'm a believer, I'm free to marry anyone I want only in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's that's 1 Corinthians chapter 7. In the case of widows, that was the standard that was set forth. She can marry whomever she wishes only in the Lord. That's the standard. What we need to do, though, is, is dig a little deeper on the question and just think mm -hmm. about the whole racial issue. Mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, we had a conference here on that mm -hmm. subject. I would encourage people to download the sermons and listen to them. We had Read several the speakers. We have, there's a book called The Biblical Answer to Racial Unity. I would encourage people to look at that. But the bottom line is people are people are people are people. From the standpoint of creation, there's one human race. We, were, we all have one father from the standpoint of creation. From the standpoint of the new creation, you're either in Christ or outside of Christ. Mm -hmm. And if you're in Christ, you're my brother or my sister. And we're one new man in Jesus Christ. Does the Bible acknowledge the reality of nations and ethnicities and languages? Yes, but never in a way where one is viewed as superior to another or what, that would divide us in those kinds of ways. And so what the differences in humanity reflect are the glories of, of the varieties that our God has brought into being. That's all, something mm -hmm. to celebrate, not something to exalt ourselves over. Um, or makes one superior to another. So no, the Bible doesn't teach that marrying someone, uh, quote unquote, of a different race is a sin. Well, thanks again for joining us for the Straight Truth Podcast. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Now remember to please share this episode with friends and family, and you can find links to all of our social media channels again at our website, straighttruth.net. Now also, if you would like to hear sermons related to the topic we've discussed today, you'll find links to those in the description below. Now, Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries, which is the preaching and writing ministry of Pastor Richard Caldwell. And you can find more details at walkingingrace.org. <music>